so I rerouted this red cable now it runs underneath like it's supposed to all right it's not that I need it it's aftermarket cable for like a subwoofer or something and it goes up there now it goes here now um, I did have like a, when I initially pulled this carpet out I had like a little bit of like dampness here which was really weird I wasn't sure what that was from and uh, I did find the issue and I'm gonna show it to you right now uh, I pulled all these computers out of here okay and I located this and do you see this grommet look how messed up it is it's not sealing properly see that right there it's totally off and of course it's gonna leak you know the water doesn't really get to this area uh, that much but still uh, anything is possible so that grommet has to be straight just like those grommets but that one is not so I'm gonna be fixing that up and then I gotta clean this area up okay from all the dirt and junk and then I'll coat it with wheel bearing grease I'll take this bracket off as well just so we're gonna be good here gotta preserve this area as well but it's basically the tip for you guys if you have like a water leak in your, your W201 or 124 uh, check those grommets so this is where it goes okay um, yeah and you can see the daylight as well uh, so I don't know if that's a big issue I don't think so I think the main issue is the ceiling make sure it seals right over there okay so that one is not a big deal uh, okay but the area where it actually seals right there that's important here's the condition of the battery tray it's actually not bad um, so I'll be restoring this battery tray okay this is still perfect so yeah I'm happy about that Okay guys, so here's my battery tray that I cleaned up from rust and everything and I'll be ready, uh, I'll be getting ready to actually paint this thing so it can be nice. And the same thing with the hold down uh, clamp, which is right here, I cleaned it all up with the wire wheel. So yeah, final thing is just going to be to paint it and then preserve it. That way it can last for years and years. So my mono wiper on the 190E was really slow and I took apart this whole wiper assembly and it's actually pretty dry over here so I need to grease every, I need to actually clean everything and grease it up to make it all good and working and I actually um 
Yeah, so I took this whole thing out and uh, this motor is actually loose. So I'm gonna remove these screws and I'm going to grease everything that's underneath. Okay, and I popped a couple of ball joints. Okay, right there, one, and I gotta, you see these teeth, they're so dry, you ha they have to be lubricated. Uh, it seems that, uh, looks like a couple of them were like stripped and stuff. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. That's what happens when you don't lubricate and you don't maintain your uh, mono wiper. And this gear is supposed to be looped up, but there's literally nothing. Okay, this gear moves the shaft, which moves, which moves your wiper, okay, like that. So I'm going to clean everything right now and I'll lubricate and reassemble. Alright guys, so the wiper assembly is back um, and the only thing is that it took me quite a while because I had to uh, line it up so some advice for you is before you take it apart just mark it really nicely everywhere so you can put it back as close as you can because what I had to do is I had to see a mark right there and I had to actually move this arm take it off and move it like that way um, I think it's from previous owners because um, when I initially had this car uh, got this car the wiper would stop like right here which is not right it should stop like somewhere around this area which is what it does now I'll show you how it operates later on but yeah right now everything is pretty much back um, so I'm pretty happy everything is working nicely the wiper is like nice and fast the way it's supposed to be not how it was before before that it used to be so slow Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Check out my playlists and other videos I post every week. Uh, thank you for everything and for all your support and I will see you in the next one. Save old school cars and save old school Mercedes. Bye.